Hello, this is Compline service, Friday, July 10th. For those of you who are, who are new, we're using the service out of the 2019 Book of Common Prayer. Uh, and this is the service of Compline. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty God and Father, we confess to you, to one another, and to the whole company of heaven that we have sinned through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us, Forgive us our sins, and by the power of your Holy Spirit, raise us up to serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We'll now have the psalm readings. Psalm 4. Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You set me free when I was in trouble. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. O you children of men, how long will you blaspheme my honor and have such pleasure in vanity and seek after falsehood? Know this also, that the Lord has chosen for himself the one that is godly. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifice of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when others grain and wine and oil increased. I will lay me down in peace and take my rest. For you, Lord, only make me dwell in safety. Psalm 31, verses 1 through 6. In you, O Lord, have I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in your righteousness. Bow down your ear to me, make haste to deliver me, and be my strong rock and house of defense that you may save me. For you are my strong rock and my castle. Be also my guide and lead me for your name's sake. Draw me out of the net that they have secretly laid for me. For you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. The verse of scripture for this Friday is from Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 9. You, O Lord, are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not leave us. The word of the Lord. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. O oh God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those, both night and day, who work while others sleep, and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, 
that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles and to be the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless us and keep us this night and evermore. Amen. Psalm 31 is a psalm filled with trust and also deliverance from danger and evil. And our confidence is, as the psalmist says, uh, in the Lord, and that we are kept safe from him and delivered because of his righteousness and his goodness, not uh, our own merit uh, or who we are, but because of his great goodness and allowing him to be our fortress and our strength. That's the encouragement I uh, hear is to put our trust in him because he's the rock. We're all pretty shaky uh, when, it, when it comes to our foundations, unless we are anchored in Christ and uh, united with him. The psalmist also looks at and describes the, the pitfalls that uh, uh, is seen uh, that are seen in uh, opposition to the godly, and how the Lord will rescue us from from anything that is plotted by those who who don't know the Lord. Draw me out of the net that they've laid secretly for me, for you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Uh, echoing the words of Jesus on the cross. And what, what happened to Jesus on the cross. But Jesus is the ultimate example of, of having complete trust and faith in his heavenly father and so uh, can we? It's an encouraging uh, portion of Psalm 31 for us to meditate on, um, and it's a one where uh, we can renew our our trust and confidence in the Lord because He really is on our side because He does love us that much. Amen. Well, that concludes our service of Compline. I want to thank Rita for uh, reading uh, the Psalms, leading the responses, and. Uh, um, See you, hopefully, a number of you on Sunday at worship. And for, for those uh, that uh, aren't in our area and uh, perhaps are still sheltering in place, uh, we'll see you in this space on Monday. God bless you.